Stephanie as a party was a Glamour Gals volunteer in high school and at Hunter College. Having graduated from Hunter last winter, she is now doing research at Rockefeller University and staying involved in Glamour Gals as an advisory board member. Stephanie will be a panelist in the Chapter Chat panel discussion later today. We, we just talked about it, but now we've known each other for about five years. It's crazy. I've seen you grow up in this organization. I know. And you just keep igniting your passion in so many people, and we are so grateful for all that you do for Glamour yeah. Gals. And I'm so day. grateful to be like shaped by such a wonderful organization. The most amazing women, right? It is. It's truly like such a powerful group of women. How has your past experience as a volunteer influenced your role as an advisory board member? My past experience as a volunteer was so impactful on me. As a high school student, a college student, going out every other week to do this service really, really made me aware of the needs of a big, major portion of our community. So as an advisory board member now, I would just, I feel it's so important to make this possible for other high school girls and college girls to be able to have these same experiences. What advice do you have for our high school and college students for making their experience as a volunteer work for them professionally? The experience of being a Glamour Gals means that you can really connect personally on a one-on-one -on -one level with, a pers with someone and this is recognized by so many people as being important professionally. In a, a job interview, this is going to be one of the key experiences that shows you can, you can connect with your coworkers and with your boss and with collaborators. So this is just, it's just super impressive to have an experience as a Glamour Gals volunteer. When people hear that you have been so involved in this organization, what do you typically hear from them as far as you know, what they're most in awe and inspired by? They're inspired by the idea that we really, we want to go and reach people who feel like they've been kind of neglected or forgotten. They're in a senior center. They don't have a lot of family or friends around. So the idea that we can reach out to them make them feel loved and make them feel important. It just has such an amazing impact on whoever listens to our experiences. Could you share with us your favorite memory of being involved <laughs> in Glamour Gals and the GG movement? My favorite memory was one Christmas we had a holiday makeover and each of us were able to decorate an ornament. So we brought like sequins, glitter. We made a total mess of the place. <laughs> but it was just so amazing to have like a creative outlet that we, you know, we really got to, to have a fun time with the seniors. And they got to take something home, show their relatives, show their friends. And this was a huge, like a huge talking point. Like for the rest of the year, the seniors would tell me like do you remember that time we decorated ornaments can we do that again like next December <laughs> so we were all like we were all kids for that makeover and it was just it was awesome